Uh, the title of the workshop, In the Midst of Madness, is a, uh, a real uh, explanation of, of uh, some emotion around a very uh, serious topic, and that is teacher effectiveness. And what we want to do in the workshop is to employ the best of uh, using case studies and Marilyn Shaper and Jen Nash uh, and the work of, who else do we have? We have some work by Danette Kerrigan as well. So we have some really great examples and case studies of work that we're going to bring together, highly collaborative. We're really going to put you into a learner-centered environment so that you get a chance to create and construct this. So I hope you come to the workshop. The cliff experience. How many people are afraid of heights? <laughs> How many of you would jump off that cliff if you're on a bungee cord Never. or a squirrel suit? Nope. Never. <laughs> it's all safe. Nope. Yet we ask our students, we ask ourselves to take risks to find the edge to create. <laughs> what makes this different is this is not a walk in the park or a simple jump off the cliff. It's the law. It's pin the tail on the donkey. I mean, it's the law. <laughs> Chapter 180 is telling us that by law, we are required that as teachers and administrators to develop an evaluation system that is based on our goals, that is based on student growth, that is something we can communicate and can be um, stored and analyzed as data uh, to reflect on our effectiveness. Not a bad idea. An idea that we deeply hold Yet an idea that's now been moved into law. We know that there are formative strategies, things that help student growth. We know that clear targets, samples of strong and weak student work, feedback, descriptive feedback continuously, self-assessment, goal setting, teacher strategies that you all bring. All of you have so many strategies that you bring to the classroom. We have practice, and I, you know, I can't, this is the group I want to talk about that really knows what practice is. Focus practice, space practice, yet practice is what really makes us uh, what we are as artists. And finally, we have self-assessment, metacognition, record keeping, and next steps. It's not just being a four, it's what's next. We need to shift the mindset from the number to what's next. So the game of pin the tail on the donkey is a stark reminder that educator effectiveness may feel like a game. The rules keep changing. The walk in the park and the walk to the edge of the cliff is a bit fun, but it's a bit scary. It's no longer a game. Could you go over there, Miriam, right by the camera? There's a, uh, right that camera right there, there's two things there. There you go. Great. So it feels like we're working with blindfolds. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hold on. The assessment processes that we have are still in development. We may not know exactly what proficiency looks like, but we're finding out. Even though we have books full of I can statements, we're struggling to really describe what those learner progressions are and to integrate them into students' thinking so that they don't just stop that they think, what's next? Where do I go? What's to be learned? We're being drawn away in some ways from what makes things change, what's the strategies that have the impact to those numbers. So we have to be forewarned that we need to be relentless in focusing on what really makes a difference. If only we had a button. <laughs> some magic help button, or please beam me out of here, Scotty button, or something that would just make this all right, but we don't. In a way, I feel like everyone's just looking at me, the assessment guy, like, what's the answer? Haven't you got an answer for this? Isn't there some kind of magical tape measure that just you pull out or something that gives you that the answer? Teacher effectiveness will go ahead. We are facing this challenge, and some of those self-imposed challenges and shortcomings are going to be there. But we need to rely on our strengths and our passion. Okay, blindfold, please. <coughs> we need to rely on the things that matter. 
we need to rely on building and keeping those relationships that we have with our colleagues, with our students, with the students we to end. And we also need to rely on those things which we have created here at the Maine Assessment Leadership Initiative, our, our collaboration and the sense that we can create this and we can do this together. Thank you, Bob.